everybody, this is Gwen David from The Alternative BBC. Yes, the bathroom broadcasting coach is in her bathroom and coaching and broadcasting yet again. Today is the 2nd of May. I hope you had a good uh, workers' day yesterday. Uh, today is session 41 and we're going to be talking about consequences. Yesterday we had a quick look at the carrot and the stick. How to achieve results through rewards and punishments. Now, the difference between having to do something and not having to do something really may appear to be self-discipline. That is, do you really want something to happen? And if you do, then just get on with it, which is my lifetime's motto. However, that doesn't take into account one major thing. And this, I believe, is life in a nutshell. Action leads to consequences but also inaction also leads to consequences. Now, what do I mean by that? For example, we talked about planting petunias. So uh, if you do not do something, so if you don't pull up your weeds, etc., you're going to have a very shabby looking garden. But if you do it with purpose and you make a decision, well, I want to have petunias, I want geraniums, I want all sorts of multicolored um, uh, flowers in my garden, then you get into action and that's the consequence you're going to have. If the, the if you decide you're not going to do anything, well, you're going to have weeds. So those are the consequences of doing something and of not doing something. I'll give you another example, teeth. If you don't do anything about your teeth, if you don't look after them, if you don't um, go to the dentist on a regular basis, if you don't brush them twice a day, you will end up with healthy uh, dentist bills and dentures. That's all you'll end up with. Uh, but if you do look after them and you go to the dentist regularly and you're able to find one in your area who is an NHS dentist, otherwise you're going to have to sign up to Denplan. If you do find a dentist and you do look after your teeth, then you will have a gleaming set of gnashes, able to work their way through any piece of steak or apples as possible. I'll give you another one. So exercise. Now, if you decide that you don't want to do anything about your, uh, your health and you don't want to exercise, you will end up with ill health, prescriptions, ugly clothes, uh, operations, whatever, right? But if you do decide that you're going to be positive about your health, then you will have great experiences. You'll meet some wonderful people in your running clubs or your gyms, or you uh, will meet some great people uh, when you're out walking or whatever, and you will be able to get into an itsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini. So do you get my idea here? So Doing something has consequences, but not doing also has consequences. So you make a decision, really. What do you want to manifest and have in your life? Then if you want something in particular, then you're going to have to get on with it. Now, my major uh, motto in life is the following. If it's to be, it's up to me. No one else is going to make me a star. No one else is going to write a book on my behalf. No one else but me is going to make sure that I can get into my size 14 jeans uh, unless I am more careful with the amount of biscuits that I'm eating. So my hard work, nobody else's, has enabled me to write and publish a book, instigate and co-write an anthem for St David's Day, write and perform a show in the West End. And so I'll just repeat again, the most important thing is whatever you want in life, if it's to be, it's up to me. Now, tomorrow I'm going to be talking about something called how to cope with good and bad days, because in this lockdown, it is more challenging than usual. Now, I have to tell you that today is a really bad day for me. Um, because I have a, a chronic pain condition, which I've had my entire life since I fell when I was 17 years of age. So I've had to deal with that. And a lot of people don't know about it. But tomorrow, I'm going to tell you about how I cope with good and bad days. So 
I hope today is a good day for you. I am going to get out and about and make the best of this particular day, although I feel absolutely awful. I hope you all feel a little bit better than I do. I'm in a great deal of pain, but I'm going to make the best out of this day as I can. Okay, take care. See you tomorrow. Keep safe and sing.